Welcome back everybody. So this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on stock market and before we get started Please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video it would be greatly appreciated guys And I know a lot of you guys are just watching and not hitting the like button So just go ahead and do that and I would really appreciate that and if you're new here consider subscribing and if you want to get my daily trade ideas, swing trade ideas, live trading, and all kinds of setups, definitely check out their link down below in the description for Patreon. And now let's get right into it. Dow is absolutely flat on the day. NASDAQ down half a percent. S&P down 0.17%, kind of a flat day. And Russell going down 0.82%. And here's the 11 sectors that makes up S&P 500 on top. We got kind of a risk off move here in the market today. Leading the way on top, real estate, financial, industrials, utilities. On the bottom, communication services, energy, healthcare, technology, basic materials, and consumer defensive. Now, week to date performance right here on top. Technology definitely leading the way. And then we got consumer cyclical, industrials, financial, healthcare, all the way here on bottom. And that is because of one stock, Google, communication services, energy, utilities, and real estate. And what we got here on stock market map, we got Tesla up 1.16%, Amazon flat, Meta going down 0.62%, Google again going down 1.91%, almost 2%, and Apple actually had a great day yesterday and now gave up all the gains down on the day 0.66%. And Microsoft staying flat. And finally, I, I don't know when was the last time I saw NVIDIA red, but it's actually red on the day, down 1.32%. Now, here's the name, and I know a lot of people actually like Google, Meta, Amazon, Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA, AMD. But here's the big name that is actually oversold and just sitting around 200 for a long time. That is Boeing, which is up today 2.78%. And I actually got a decent position on Boeing because Boeing here, guys, I've been trading for a long time. And you know, this thing is not going anywhere. And one of those biggest stocks right here on aerospace, and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Yes, they got some bad news, you know, some loose balls and whatever, you know, but, you know, it's going to come back. You're going to see Boeing coming back up to at least 240. It's going to take time, but it's going to come back up. And that is why you cannot just go and trade these names right here, like Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon all the time. You got to go a different route, and that is Boeing right here, or even RTX. That is also another better company. And now let's get right into SPY ETF. On SPY ETF, it's down 0.13%. And now you can see it right on my screen. The next support will be down here, guys. 503 and also if you look at my screen rising five day moving average now moved up sitting at 506.91 and we definitely trading below five day moving average right here and tomorrow we got pc data coming out so that's gonna be something to watch spy etf breaks above 506.91 then watch out for a move back up to 510 and possibly even higher below 506.91 watch out for the support right down here and that is going to be around 503 we also have strong support right down here at 501.91 13 day moving average right here which is also rising and that is bullish and then 500 and also this gap just under 498 now soon as we get that data tomorrow that is coming out at 8 30 a.m i'm not expecting anything big but yes, we got this massive gap down here. Anything bad on that data, you're going to see a dump off and we could be closing this gap early as tomorrow. And if the numbers are cooked up again, gas prices went up guys significantly. And when gas prices go up, guess what? You're going to see higher inflation and everything will go up. So watch out tomorrow's data. We could see a drop all the way down to this gap, 497.37. But if the numbers are cooked up again, then guess what? We might see a rally back up to the upside, which is insane to think that, you know, market can rally even more. And this thing can go all the way up to 510 again and possibly up to that target all the way up to 520. And uh, the target I'm talking about, which is the weekly bull flag on SPY ETF. And if that actually plays out, you're going to see a move all the way up to 520 because we already got up to 510 right here.
and here's my x account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and there is no subscription nothing you gotta go through it's totally free guys now here's some fantastic plays that i took early in the morning and you can see right here first one 9 31 a.m got into mstr 825 puts for this week guess what there were only 500 a piece got up to 900 a piece within just few minutes and then this one guys beyond meat when above and beyond got it for 36 cents a piece got up to a dollar massive move here on this one as well actually uh ten dollar puts went in the money here on beyond so that was really nice and all these trade ideas are available on patreon and that's how i do it early in the morning i actually make my money and then i don't go and trade all day now some people they trade all day and guess what guys that is really a bad habit because if you are trading all day you're going to lose money so if you want to actually learn and you're interested in real trading then definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon on spy etf it's down a half a percent and you can see now it's trading above 435 and into closing holding the support 435 just below that we also have support at 432 and then rising 20 day moving average this white line also a support setting at 431.26 and then this gap all the way down here at 425.70 now we got a doji indecision candle so tomorrow decision will be made on queues and we could see a rally or a dump off depending on that pc data guys so going into tomorrow's session watch 435 432 431.26 a strong support right here and then the dump off down to this gap 425.70 to the upside now triple q needs to break right here this blue line five day moving average 436.85 and once we get above that level easily you're going to see a move all the way up to 440 up to even 442.52 on triple q on dia absolutely flat on the day and this thing would not give up and uh, get under 20 day moving average which is sitting at 386.77 and now again holding around 388 to 389 which is also a support if you look at my screen right here and so far that is holding and just below that we have this gap 386.17 so maybe tomorrow we get to see dia coming down and filling this gap at 386.17 and also these bollinger bands here on dia also squeezing so yes we could see a big move on dia and uh, considering how much this thing ran, you know, it needs a correction. It needs to come down. If this thing is going up straight again from here, well, that is an unhealthy market, guys. So going into tomorrow's session, you need to watch 388 and then 386 down here, this gap, 384, and then this support, 381.35, lower Bollinger Band and 50-day moving average right here on this daily chart. To the upside, now DIA needs to break and hold right here 390 and once we get above 390 then watch out for a move back up to 393 on iwm it's down 0.82 percent and now we do have support in between 202 and 201.64 this gap down here so that's gonna be a level to watch going into tomorrow's session if you want to take some calls that would be right here after filling this gap as long as the support can hold on iwm now below that we also have support at 200 and then 198 all the way down to 195 as long as i would say iwm can hold above 200 then watch out for a move all the way back up to 205 to even 206 and why because this bollinger band on top expanded all the way up to 206 so if this thing can hold here around 200 yes we could see that move all the way up to 206 on iwm so the dollar is staying green on the day and if you look at my screen yesterday we actually got this breakout and today some follow through at least this thing went up all the way up to 104.26 and now trading close to 104 so you're lining the sand here on dollar as a support 103.58 and as long as this thing can hold right here, then watch out for a move all the way up to 104.48, 104.67. And once we get that breakout over 104.48, maybe some consolidation right here. And then watch out for a big move all the way up to 106 on dollar. 
So the 10 year going down today 0.95% and you can see this thing just wedging right here and soon as we get that breakout I would say over 43 you're going to see explosion all the way up to 43.70 and possibly up to upper Bollinger Band which is sitting at 44.56. To the downside you need to watch this support down here and that is going to be a strong one which is sitting around 42 and below that all the way down to 41 but you can see this uptrend and this wedge right here so far intact and yes tomorrow with that pc we could see a massive explosion on tnx if this thing actually gets that breakout over 43 then easily can come up to 43.70 and possibly right up here on vix is up three percent and watch out tomorrow this thing can get a breakout over 1386 right here five day moving average then watch out for a move up to 15 and i said it so many times before until we get above 15 on vix you are not going to see massive explosion like we did right here and possibly there is one coming very soon on vix so watch out guys 1386 five day moving average right here it needs to break and soon as that breaks this thing can push up to 15 and once we get over 15 that is the real deal and real breakout for a move all the way up to 18 to 20 dollars on vix until then critical support on vix right down here which is at 13 dollars and that's all i have for you guys in this video let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section